And I'm proud to announce that we are mobilizing our architecture, design, and manufacturing communities to utilize 3D printing technology. And we're getting this done by tapping into the resources on our own backyard, developing prototypes and designs with USC's architecture, engineering, and medical schools. We're working with UCLA, see we work both sides of town, and other local universities and design schools and architecture firms to utilize their materials and to use their expertise. It was mentioned by Mayor Eric Garcetti at this evening's briefing on the fight against COVID-19. Kick Online's Hermela Argawi shows you how the USC architecture students are using 3D technology to make the masks. These, this is what Keck has identified as wartime medicine. So we are looking at the backups to the backups. A growing group of scientists and architects from USC are banding together to 3D print personal protective equipment for those on the front lines fighting COVID-19. This is an example of one of the uh, 3D printed face masks. It has uh, three components. There's the cap that goes on the front, the, the filter which goes on the back and then in between you would place a, a HEPA filter, a fabric filter here, uh, which is the same as what's on the N95 masks. Architect Alvin Huang is helping coordinate the effort, which he now says includes about 80 USC students, faculty and friends that have access to the printers. If you think of this as an inkjet that prints in 3D, it's basically the ink that you're going to be using. Daryl Huang is director of USC's 4D Quantitative Imaging Center. He's been in the lab around the clock this week, printing a mask at a time. One mask takes an average five hours, using materials and a process that has been approved by leads at USC's Keck School of Medicine. Huang says he's thrilled to help, but hopes what he and his colleagues are producing aren't needed. Oddly enough, it's the only time I've ever hoped that everything that I'm doing, everything that I'm making, never gets touched and never gets used. If we have to use any of the stuff that I'm producing right now, it means that we have run completely dry. The masks aren't N95 grade, but the designers tell us they come molecularly close. We actually make sure that it passed the basic tests that we can um, we can do, because there's no use to producing PPE that isn't filling the requirements of our uh, positions. We reach out to the mayor's office and they tell us they are stepping in as partners in this effort. Mayor Garcetti will make this announcement tonight. He'll also talk about how he will engage printing companies and architectural design firms so that they could get this gear made in bulk. I'm Hermela Argawi for KCAL 9 News.